Hey guys, I'm here with David Adams, who is the general manager for Vigil Games, and you guys have been working on Darksiders 2. Correct. What 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 are we looking at here? What is Darksiders 2 for those of us who might just be showing up late to the party? Uh, Darksiders 2 basically tells the story of Death, who's one of the other horsemen of the apocalypse, and his quest to save his brother War. From okay. The first game. So War's been kidnapped in this one. Uh, War was accused of destroying all of mankind in the first game. So that asshole. Death's here to sort of clear his name. And okay, great. And so, I I haven't played the first one, so this is I'm coming in this pretty pretty much pretty much cold, but. Uh, you guys have made some changes to the gameplay. Is that uh, an assessment that is that is correct? Yeah, I mean, when we set out to make the sequel and we knew we were going to change the main character, we wanted the main character to be completely different than War. So, okay, War is a lot more stoic and straightforward, and Death's more agile and fast and quick. And a lot cool. of jumping around. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of climbing, a lot of climbing and jumping. Um, is that uh, is that throughout the whole game, or is that more what we were playing today? Uh, it varies from area to area. We try to, you know, change up the experience as much as we can. So we have areas that are more combat-centric, areas that are more, you know, traversal-centric, puzzle-centric. It just kind of bounces around depending okay. on where you are. And also, I, I, you get to ride on horseback in this, too. Correct. Which makes sense because you're a horseman, obviously. Uh, is there any other, any other vehicle-type stuff or kind of interactive big things that you yeah, get there's, into? Yeah, I mean, we do our best to make sure everywhere you go in the game has its own cool, unique mecha mechanics and hooks. So that was the mechanic for that level, riding around on the custodian constructs. But every level has something similar, and, you know, it's it's a different flavor depending on where you are. Okay, and you were, you guys are really stressed that this is a much bigger game, that scale-wise you've really really fleshed this out. And I could I could get a sense for it just because it was just massive levels. Um how how big is the game overall? Like how is it gonna just blow people away with size? It's definitely way bigger than Dark Siders. It's kinda hard to tell exactly how big it is, but one of the big differences too is that Dark Siders one was kinda like just main storyline and that's it. But there's a ton of like side quests and extraneous stuff you can do in this game that you couldn't do in the first one. Okay. And is it is it sort of like a hub hub situation? Is there any open world element to it or Yeah, there's like four major areas and they each have their own little town that you come back to and interact with NPCs, but then as you unlock the world, you're free to explore around as much as you want. Okay. And uh, how about the different the different types of environments? The one I saw was sort of a industrial kind of elven dwarven forge type type situation. But uh, are we going to see more outside stuff like jungles or forests or? Yeah, there's a ton of outdoor yeah. stuff. I mean, the, you know, the, this playable was all inside of a dungeon, but there's a whole overland forest area. There's a bunch of different environments. You know, we want to just you to feel like you're going to cool new places as much as snow? possible. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Well, that's, that's a random question. But I, know. I, want to, I like snow levels. They're cool. <laughs> yeah. They're neat. It's totally snow. Um, do you have? What do you, do you have plans to do the other two horsemen? Is that was that a thing that you could see happening? Uh, we have long-term plans overall, which I don't know. We're not a hundred percent decided on what the exact how we're going to break it up going forward. So who knows? Okay. Well, uh, this is this is going to be a, a Nintendo Wii U launch title. Uh, can you say anything about that? Uh, other than what you just said, no. Yeah, that's that's the worst. <laughs> Nintendo, tell us, let us know some things so we can talk about things. It's gonna be more. awesome. Is it gonna be there awesome? Go. Okay, sure. well that's that's good to know. Um, yeah, what? How how long is the game? How what are we looking at? Uh, I honestly don't. I would I would probably couldn't tell you if I knew, but I honestly don't know. I know it's the main story is longer than the first one, and then like I said, there's a bunch of side content on top of that. So it's it's definitely all together significantly more of a game than the first one. Great, and that's that's coming out this summer. Yep. What, what's the end date of June? June twenty sixth. June twenty sixth. Great. Well, that's uh, that's Dark Siders two. That's uh, uh, PlayStation three and Xbox three sixty. And PC. And PC. Yep. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for talking, Dave. Yeah, no problem.